Hello everybody. This question comes from Christy Johnson and it's about um, pinning to Tailwind from your blog post. So go on your blog post. This is one of my most recent blog posts that I haven't um, posted yet. I don't have pins on this one yet because it's not a completed blog post. I've got to put up the other, I don't know, 40 images that I'll be doing. Um, but I am going to show you with this um, page because I think it would be helpful. And this is my process for pinning from my blog post. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to click on the little tailwind, um, what is that, in Chromecast, whatever. It pops up this little box and you're going to pick the images um, and you'll see they turn blue when you click on them. The images that I want to add to Pinterest. And when it comes to images, I do encourage you to also pick the landscaped ones. If, if, if it's going to be writing on top of like an actual pin, you absolutely want it to be the size of what pin should be, which is this long one. But, um, but I will still add these um, landscaped ones when it comes to, for me, for my wedding images. So I just selected the ones that I want and you'll notice them all along the bottom here. And you're gonna click go to schedule and it'll have a pop-up box. And we're going to give it a little second because when I'm on Tailwind and I'm recording, it always is very slow for some reason. So um, one caveat, if all of these pins were different pins going to, well, they are, right? They're different pins going to the same blog post. I don't want to add every single pin on here to multiple boards because when it pins, it'll pin them sort of in a row and that's not good. So um, the first thing I'm going to do, and it's going to go, everyone on here is going to go to my Jen Vasquez photography because that's what I um, always choose for, especially for my photography, but any of my business stuff. Oops, there we are. And Tailwind for newbies, it is never this slow. It's only this slow because I'm recording it. Um, okay, so like on this one, I'm going to add, whoops. Um, on this one, I'm going to add portrait. Wedding portrait ideas. Um, I'm going to add wedding portrait ideas. Same thing on this one. I don't know if it clicked. It is so slow. <clears throat> All right, I'm also, I also like to come up here and to add to, I have some group boards and that would be wedding inspiration. And um, it's denoted by um, the little icon with people. See right over here, that denotes a group board, same with the green color. Um, I'm going to do the wedding inspiration also. And I have another one, I think it's called a wedding group board. Let's see, a wedding, yep, group board. Um, and on this one, I'm going to also add, because these were all at venues in California, and I have a board that's for wedding California wedding venues, or wedding venues in California. Um, and I also will usually add it to um, wedding vendors as well, um, but I'm not on this one just because it was more of an intimate wedding. 
Um, okay, so I'm going to pick the one that I maybe like the most, maybe because it's got more pictures on this. I'm going to go ahead and add this one right now to Smart Loop because I want that one to circulate like a bunch. And so I'll add it. I only have one Smart Loop, um, but you can have many more. Um, this is, I would probably take off wedding advice. Um, I would probably leave wedding planning tips because they'll get something from that wedding colors, venues, vendors, inspiration, and Jen Vasquez. So this is good for now. You can add boards or take off boards. When you set up your smart loops, you're going to select the main boards that they're going to go to, but you can add and delete on every single time that you do it. It shows right here added. I'm going to also add to tribes. I usually select one or two pins to add to tribes because I'm constantly um, adding tribe uh, pins from my tribe to my board. So I look like a really good tribe member. Um, and I tend to get more repins because of it because people see who's pinned your stuff and they pin back. Um, these are the pins I've pinned of my stuff to the board. And over here on the right are the number of times I've pinned something from the tribe to my board. So I'm a good pinner. Um, and then I'll add that to tribes. And then, and I do this all in this, on the first pop-up page. I don't wait and go into Tailwind, just as a heads up. Um, I will also copy this information and I will add it to Facebook. So when it pin, it'll pin one time, the first time it gets pinned, it'll pin it onto Facebook for me as well, because why not? Um, and then um, I'm going to come down here to intervals. I'm going to click on interval. This makes sure that this particular pin will only be pinned back to a different board after a certain period of time. This one shows two days. Um, if I were to go less than two days, I don't even know if it'll let me. Yeah, see it says here, heads up, pinning the same image too frequently could put your account at risk and reduce your distribution on Pinterest. You do not want to be labeled as spam, so you don't want to do that. So typically what's okay is two days to 30 days, whatever it is. I usually like to go around seven days because I want my information spread out and not be super repetitive. Um, and then I say set my interval and I'm gonna schedule now. Then I'm gonna go ahead and Save the rest of these for later, and I'll show you what I do for that. As soon as that pops up, I'll go back into Tailwind to show you what I do. So it's saving. I'm just going to click over to my Tailwind, and I'm going to come up here. Um, the little horn is your publisher, um, so I'm going to get onto my publisher. If I can get on there, come on. And I probably have to refresh, which is going to take a second, so bear with me. Okay, so I am in here and you'll notice that it put it literally as separate pins to not be able to do as an interval, but that's okay because what I do is I will pin them all and then shuffle. I always shuffle before I get out of this scheduling area, always. So, um, this is all set up, so I would just come down here and I would add like hashtags, wedding, to them. 
but since it's moving slow, I'm just going to go ahead and um, schedule them if it ever comes up. <laughs> So just pretend I click, 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 click on all of these, and then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to shuffle the queue and say yes to shuffling it because it asks you for sure. And then it will take all of the images that aren't. So when it's an interval, that first pin is movable, but all the other boards that it's pinned to when you do the interval is going to go seven days, seven days, seven days. So when you move this first pin, it'll move all the pins down or up accordingly. Um, and they are shown as little gray locks over on the right side. But this is acting up today, so I can't show you that. If you have any questions, let me know.